hi, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a great day, a great blessed day in the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. God was, um, I actually went yesterday and I was praying for someone in the hospital. And as the Lord led me in the spirit, he was saying, Deanna, what's going on, especially in this season, the enemy is hitting people so hard to where it is actually shaking your faith. It is shaking your confidence, your faith in saying to where you're saying, oh my God, what's next? Oh my God, why is this happening? Oh my God, this, 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 that. What he's trying to do is make you think and make you doubt God is on your side. Just because, remember Job, God said, God said, remember Job. Come on somebody, hallelujah. Job went through a lot, but God gave him double for his trouble. You're in that season. A lot of you are in that season, God say, where even you got people around you that say, curse God and die. What about your God? Look how your God allowing you to go through this and that. Oh, come on somebody, hallelujah. God said, ignore the naysayers, for this is only a test. Come on somebody, hallelujah. He said, if you hold on, this ain't just a word. This is a rima word. God said, if you hold on and be strong. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm telling you, it's a turnaround that's coming your way. This is only a test, God says. The enemy is after your faith and your confidence. What is the confidence? Knowing that you are who God told you you are. Because sometimes, let me tell you the truth. Sometimes you feel like, God, if I am this, if I am that, then why do I go through? God, what's going on? Why this one over there prospering? Or what's this or what's that? We have have so many questions and God said the answer is hold on to your faith hold on to your confidence know that God is not a man that he should lie oh come on somebody if you look in the testament new testament from the old testament God always tested Abraham Joseph David come on somebody Noah everybody had tests and they passed the test. But when it is when they passed the test, what happened? I'm going to tell you what happened. They excelled. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. God wants you to pass the test. Yes, he's allowing the enemy to do some things. But in this hour, but it is a character test. It's not just about monetary. It's not just about the dreams and the goals that God has showed you. God want to know after I bless you, can you stand? Come on, somebody. Sometimes it's not even in the blessing. It's can you stand mentally? spiritually come on somebody because you know how you get to a place and then some people fall because they haven't been able to stand god wants to make sure when he bless you that you can stand in the blessings can you stand to be blessed god said oh come on somebody hallelujah to his name be strong how do you be strong apostle deanna you get in that word let me tell you something and i'm telling you because this word is for myself as well in order to get what you've never had you got to do what you've never done Come on, somebody. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm praying. I'm praying. Come on, somebody. I'll stand in the gap with you. Stand in the gap with me. Hallelujah. Let's go to that level. Let's get what God has for us. Hallelujah. God don't mind blessing us, but he wanted to know, can you stand in the blessing? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Can you be strong in the blessing? Because what you fail to realize is we ask God for blessings, but different levels, different devils. When God bless you, Will you be tempted to go back to the world? When God bless you, will you be tempted to ask arrogant? When God bless you, come on somebody, hallelujah. Do you understand what I'm saying today? Can you stand to be blessed? So God bless you, and I pray that you hold on, be strong. How do you stand strong, Deanna? You get on that face. You get on your face. I'm talking about prostate. It is the most powerful position of prayer. And you pray to your God, and you surrender to your God, and you get up with those with that word in you, and you go to bed with that word in you, and you don't accept anything less. Anybody talking negative? I don't want to hear that, because I know what God has shown and told me. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it feels like. I know that God will do what he said that he would do in jesus name god bless you and hold on be strong come on somebody this is apostle deanna dixon hold on to your faith and confidence the enemy is after it god bless you